the grappler. The wrestler in the game, the judoka, the little girl who for some reason has the strength of a sumo wrestler. Whatever fighting game you've played, you've come across this character archetype whose sole purpose is to chuck you around a screen like a crash test dummy. They're bigger, stronger, and in most cases with way more health than that cool yet flimsy ninja you may have chosen. Everyone knows that feeling when the versus screen pops up and good lord, it's the grappler. And we get that feeling because, well, the game changes drastically when the grappler enters the match. Whilst playing any fighting game, thinking about your opponent's options and making adjustments whilst playing is the norm, but nobody changes how you play your game quite like the grappler. To make up for their often slower walk speed and limited movement options as a whole, the grappler has to kind of use creative ways to get into their sweet spot, which is right up in your face. Which means from round start, the grappler is almost always starting at a disadvantage. Going back to one of the first grapplers ever, Zangief was the original grappler who was a straight up wrestler and had a spinning pile driver, a spinning lariat, and that was it. That was the character, up against the cast of fireballs, sonic booms, and characters that can reach right across the screen. Geef had to evolve in order to not just get held underwater by the entire roster. Greenhand was introduced in Super Turbo as a way to cancel fireballs and give Geef more of a fighting chance. And in Street Fighter 4, FADC Greenhand was a horrifying move because now this tank of a character had a way to get in your face more or less safely, and if you got hit, say goodbye to your precious life bar. In Street Fighter V, they took away Greenhand and in its place, a V-Trigger, which in theory is kind of terrifying since it pulls you into exactly where he wants you. With all of these changes though, the core of Zangief didn't really change. What if you had Geef, but you had a way to get in on you from anywhere on the screen? What if you had Geef, but he's super fast with armor and mix-ups? Geef is kind of the grandfather of all grapplers, kind of giving birth to all of the other grapplers we know today. Evolved from just the slow, plodding wrestlers, they now come in a variety of shapes and sizes and more importantly, playstyles to cater to all kinds of players. In the 3D world, fans of pro wrestling might like King or Armor King where it's difficult for the player to know what throw is coming and you can enjoy putting a freaking bear in a sharpshooter, Bret Hart could never. If you enjoy making the opponent guess, characters like Laura or Makoto will have your opponent throwing brand new fight sticks clear out the window because how am I supposed to deal with this? What do you mean I guessed wrong twice and died? In a fast paced system like King of Fighters, Clark and Goro would get eaten alive if they wasn't able to smooth with the rest of them but the core is still there. Get in the opponent's face and threaten with grabs. The key word being threaten, which kind of links to some of the reasons why I hate, like seriously hate fighting a good grappler player. We all know what the grappler wants to do and that's get in throw range and twist you into a pretzel for not getting away quick enough. I know that, they know that, and here comes the mind games. The threat of a command grab is often so large that the opposing player will do anything in their power to stay the hell away. In the process, eating a bunch of damage from a grappler who knows you're trying to run. Then, when you're tired of getting tagged, in comes a giant gorilla to throw you around the screen to remind you just who the hell they are. Some grapplers are better at this than others, but you know it when you start to feel like, damn, no matter what I do, I'm screwed. And on the grappler side, they have to factor in teleports and movement options, invincible moves that the opponent can use to get out of the way. The gameplay of a grappler is way more complex than it originally seems to sweaty Chun-Li players like myself. Seriously, screw you and eat my fierce punch. In 3D, similar archetypes exist, but not nearly as clear-cut as it is in the 2D realm. With 3D comes options, movement, going under and over in characters like Jin Kazama who aren't grapplers but with throw mix-ups for every button, keeping you on your toes, and the difference being mainly damage. If King or Marduk grabs you, it's going to hurt a lot. And they have extra mind games where they can throw you into the wall and turn the tables on you when you thought you had the advantage. Tekken is full of situations like this. 
Marduk, Armor King, and even a few characters like Nina and Anna can run to throw mix-ups on you to where you have to be looking super close to break them visually. Grapplers favor a variety of players, whether you like the mix or trying to live out your favorite pro wrestling fantasy. But a trait grappler players have to possess is patience. A patient player who is willing to sit there and analyze their opponent every match, learning their movements like a black widow spider, that is who will generally do well as a grappler. From conversations I've had with grappler players, they seem to enjoy playing around the limitations of their character and adjusting to the opponent's playstyle and having to work out how to get that command grab on the opponent. Not gonna lie, it sounds kinda rewarding, almost like a chess match. And since the majority of the cast has something to get away from a grappler, a good grappler player is likely trying to turn their bad matchups into good ones. Working out how to get to the opponent, sometimes spending entire rounds taking damage before the light bulb finally goes off. Which is why grapplers are very rarely at the top of anyone's tier list. Playing against them, you will learn pretty quickly not to play in the face of a grappler. If your chosen character has ranged options that keep you out of the range of a grappler's reach, that's more than likely your answer to besting the silverback gorillas. If not, well then you gotta get a little more creative. Characters with long reaching moves or moves to keep the grappler away from them will have an easier time dealing with the matchup. Grapplers have a ton of health because they are going to get tagged a bunch of times before they even get to where they want to be. Playing against them, it's your job to stop them from doing that and all in all, it's one of the easier matches to understand in fighting games. Stay away from the grappler and your life bar will likely thank you for it. If you enjoyed that video, please consider dropping a like or following for more videos on gaming and the FGC. Comment down below and join the Twitch channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.